Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another vlog. This is kind of an exciting one, it's something a little bit different, but I wanted to share with you guys my trip home. I'm visiting home for a little bit. For those who don't know, I am from the Cayman Islands. I'm really excited because I haven't been home in seven, almost eight months. So I'm really excited to just go have a little getaway. And the most exciting part actually is that at this moment, Cayman is pretty much free people have been partying it's like literal normal life there so I'm kind of excited to get a break from wearing masks and all of that I'm really really looking forward to it and I mean your girl needs a break it's been all year and I haven't had a break haven't had vacation I've just been working my butt off so I'm really looking forward to it I'm so excited and I kind of wanted to take you guys along with me so here's the thing because the borders are still closed even though I am came on and they're gonna let me in I am going to be under a very strict government mandated 14 day quarantine so basically what's gonna happen is when I touch down in Cayman they are gonna escort us like police escort and stuff to a isolation facility which they've designated certain hotels on the island for this and because we are residents the government actually pays for this part so we have to be stuck in a hotel room and by we it's my mom and I my mom and I are traveling together she's back there with the bags but yeah um, we'll be stuck in quarantine for 14 days straight. Uh, so yeah, it should be interesting. I thought it'd be interesting to kind of take you guys along with me and show you what the deal is in Cayman when we get there, what quarantine is like, and then also show you my trip after. So this is kind of going to be like a two-parter kind of thing. This will be part one, quarantine, traveling into the island, all that fun stuff, what's going to happen. And then part two will be my birthday shenanigans. My birthday's coming up on October 7th. I don't know if my birthday would have passed by the time Your I've seen this. Please. I think it will have. So, yeah. This should be very interesting. My mom and I are going to be quarantined in a room together 14 days straight. So, I do have a lot of things planned, like little activities. We brought pedicure stuff and whatever to try and stay busy. But, yeah. It should be very, very interesting. And I'm going to take y'all along with me for the ride. I'm sorry for the long intro. Oh, and one more thing. If you are new to this channel, please make sure you consider subscribing if you like what you see. It's just lots of fun over here. Natural hair, beauty, lifestyle, all the good stuff. So go ahead and make sure you hit that subscribe button and make sure you also hit that notification bell as well if you want to be notified every single time a new video drops. Here we go. So we, how are we feeling? Good. Good. Okay. Came on, here we come. Came on, here we come. <laughs> Eye protection, mask. Jeans with no rips, okay? You're taking all the precautions. Um, shout out to Delta. They're handing these out to everybody, so I'd love to see it. One flight down, one to go. All right, so we are all checked in, and now we're sitting down because I'm waiting for one of my best friends who is also on this flight. <laughs> we can tap our shoes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How do we feel? Tired. Tired but excited? I think it was just my doctors. Yeah. We're smiling under here. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna be outside for 15 days. Here. Thank you very much. Thank you. You got it? Oh, it's actually pretty. Thank you. Oh. It's not terrible. And we have a balcony. This is this is actually kind of really nice. Hey guys. Alright, so I'm gonna give you guys like a little I'm calling it a condo because that's basically what they gave us. So a little condo tour. So first, we have an actual full-size kitchen, which is great because we can get people to kind of, you know, deliver groceries for us if we feel like cooking. So on the other side here, this is the bathroom. 
pretty spacious and then we have a bedroom right here I'm gonna have to listen to mom snoring but it's okay <laughs> it's okay and then we have a balcony you can access this from the living space as well so let's keep going boom this is great we have our own washer and dryer which is a thousand times necessary obviously for two people who are staying together for two weeks in a facility i love love that we have this and then the kitchen kind of this is the other side of the kitchen with a nice little island area. We've got a whole dining table and then a whole living space as well. This is honestly, this is way more than I was ever expecting. When they told us that we had to quarantine together, we were like expecting this crammed hotel room. We were like, what are we going to do? But here we are. All right. So we got Bay here on FaceTime, of course. And now I'm filling out all my food for the week. So it is all catered by Misen Plus. So do you guys want to know my best idea yet? Boom! I brought the Apple TV with me. So now we can totally just chill and watch some Netflix. I mean, this is really not going to be that bad. It could definitely be a lot worse. Yeah, and that's basically a wrap for tonight, day zero. I'll check in with y'all tomorrow for day one. Today, I am setting up my little mini mobile workstation because as you guys know, I have been filming like crazy so that none of my YouTube videos are gonna slack while I am here in quarantine. So, I have a lot of unedited content that needs to get edited, lots of work to do, emails, you know, the usual thing. This is not a vacation for me. I'm actually still working and my vacation won't be until around my birthday time. So I'm gonna be working a little extra to make sure that even throughout my actual real vacation and my birthday time that I'll be able to enjoy it and my content will still be able to go out too. The plan is for me to kind of this first week I kind of want to like go crazy. I want to work, 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 work. And then maybe next week kind of wind down a little bit, start getting ready for vacation, do my nails, do a little pedicure on myself. That's kind of how I wanted to frame the two weeks of quarantine. So let's get to business. All right guys, it is day two out of 15. Whew, yesterday, I literally, like I worked all day. Quarantine has actually been pretty good because I've been so crazy productive. I edited two YouTube videos. Is it echoey? Is it just me or is it echoey? If it's echoey, I'm sorry. Let me come a little closer. Um, but yeah, I edited two YouTube videos yesterday and then I rebranded my entire brand yep your girl got a new logo my website got a nice little refresh with the updated branding updated colors your girl has been productive for day one i woke up today and i have been actually spending a lot of the morning just kind of trying to engage with you guys comment get to my comments on youtube get to my dms and comments on instagram i literally just spent like two hours trying to talk to all of you so again another productive day now i wanted to do something kind of fun because yesterday on instagram i actually asked you guys what your specific questions are for me on quarantine i wanted to know exactly what you guys wanted to know so that i can kind of answer your questions on here i didn't really want to forget anything so let me go through some of these questions are people allowed to visit you if they do do they then need to be in quarantine so no you are not allowed to have any visitors whatsoever so basically how that's mandated is that i'm in a isolation facility so if they've turned the holiday in here in cayman into an isolation facility so only people who are here are travelers who are being quarantined and no visitors are allowed if you get caught like trying to do some off the wall stuff it's bad like you will go to jail possibly and you'll definitely get a fine like they're being really serious about this so <laughs> I'm scared of birds. Mom, it was like three of them. 
And then one of them just wouldn't stop. He was like, I'm coming you know through. They're, you know how they are. <sighs> okay. Well, they are just big black birds that will literally attack you. And I, yes, have been attacked before. I've watched my dad get attacked. Like, yeah, no. I'm so scared. Anyways. So, yes. No, nobody can visit you. Um... I, it would have been nice to say like, oh, can somebody come and then they just quarantine with you, like come on the first day or whatever, but no, that is not the case. They don't, like, they're not messing with anything in Cayman because we're kind of like a nice little bubble and they're trying to keep it that way. So what's the food options like? Are they tasty? We do get three meals a day, so breakfast, lunch, and dinner. <laughs> it's kind of funny because they knock, so everybody has like a table outside of their room. And then they knock really quickly and then they run down the hallway um, so that they don't like come in contact with you just in case. You know what I mean? So then you'll just look at the table and then your dinner or food, whatever time of day it is, will be there sitting on the table. So that's really, really nice. Um, it's being catered by this catering company here called Mise en Place. So honestly, I would say the food has really not been bad at all. I've gotten to choose what I want for like the week. I showed you guys what that was all about on day zero so yeah honestly like mom what would you say about the food i like it it's good right yeah, it's good. like can't complain at all honestly were you able to grocery shop how do you get food so like i said they do provide food for us but as you guys have seen we do have a full kitchen in here as well and even though people aren't actually allowed to come and visit us they are allowed to drop stuff off for us and um they will drop food groceries off whatever we really will need um hello see this is security <laughs> walking right past <laughs> who's feeding and checking on hershey oh my gosh i get questions about hershey every single day hershey is perfectly fine i could not quarantine with her so i left her at home she would have absolutely hated this entire experience of quarantining it just wouldn't have worked so she is back at home in Atlanta with my dad who absolutely loves and adores her and spoils her like crazy. So I know she's having the absolute best time ever. I know y'all are like her little internet aunties and uncles. I know y'all are so super concerned, but she's good. She's good. Do I miss her? Absolutely. Every single morning, I'm so accustomed to getting kisses from Hershey, but at the same time, like I'm really excited to also be home and I, I won't be here forever. I'm going back to her within a month's time so she'll she'll be perfectly fine can you go outside at all this is the amount of outside that we will get and that's it i'm so so grateful for this balcony because honestly we can sit out here enjoy the fresh breeze enjoy a little bit of the heat outside and also like stare at the ocean even though we can't go into it it's just nice and peaceful to look at so i really really appreciate the balcony for sure do you guys have a daily curfew so no um so the rules are what the rules are for us in isolation. We can't go anywhere, do anything. For everybody else on the island, normal residents can, I, like I said, it's pretty much just almost like normal life here. So there's no more curfew or anything. So yeah, it's pretty much near normal life here. Mom, look at them. They're like talking about getting ready to attack us. Can you hear them? They're literally conversing with each other and staring at us. They're freaking me out. All right, so I think that kind of answered majority of your questions. If you have any additional questions, you can, as always, go ahead and comment them below and I will get to those comments eventually. Hey friends, okay, so it's day three. Yes, my hair is looking crazy because it's not day three for my hair. It's day three of quarantine, but it's like day eight. For my hair, I know, it is like, uh, because when have I ever let my hair go this long without washing? Like, never. My scalp is crying out for me to wash, so. I'm actually getting ready to participate this morning in a Dermalogica virtual, like, yoga type skin fit or fit skin event. So, before I do this event, I kind of wanted to get a little jump on my wash day. So, because I will be washing with a shampoo today, just because I can feel that my scalp really needs it, and this is going to be my one shampoo for the month, I wanted to go ahead and add some conditioner to my hair first. 
So what I'm gonna do is kind of wet it and add a little bit of conditioner, comb it out, and then I will put it back up in a bun for this event. Please don't laugh at my hair, okay? It's gonna look crazy for a little second. But I wanted to show you guys this brand, Jisoo. It's a new brand at Sephora. Well, is it a new brand at Sephora? It's new to me. And they have this whole honey infused collection. So I bought like a mini version of their hair wash as well as their conditioner. And let me tell you, no, it smells so good. So good it actually smells like that like professional grade of hair stuff that you would get from a hairstylist that's exactly what it smells like so I'm really excited to give this a try so I'm basically just putting conditioner in my hair to make sure it's nice and combed out and then it's like getting some pre moisture before we go in with that like deeper wash using my mom's <laughs> wide tooth comb I don't have time to be finger detangling right now because I gotta get onto this event soon. So this comb is getting me right though, the wide tooth, yes. And normally a lot of like honey infused products are a little bit on the thicker side and they actually have the same consistency of honey and I don't usually like that. This does not have the consistency of honey but it's still honey infused. So I feel like I'm getting the moisture I need without like a super heavy and sticky consistency. Feels really good. All right, time to put it back in my quarantine bun. That's what I'm gonna call that. Here's a little tip. Get you a headband that's black and simple. That will always make you look a little bit more put together when you really aren't actually put together in your hair. It's like thrown up in a bun. I'm telling you, it works every time. Boom, I look like I actually tried today, whereas I'm just pre-conditioning my hair for my wash day. Yeah, it's perfect. If you guys are wondering where I got this, I think I picked these up from Target. You can go to Walgreens, you can go CVS, like these little things are everywhere. 10 out of 10 recommend. All right, I think we're good to go. He sent a care package. He is too precious. I have the best boyfriend in the entire world. Hello, it is day eight. I'm happy because I've just been having event after event. So yesterday I had two events and then I have two more events this week. They're actually Sephora events, which I'm really excited for. We're doing some workshops, which are really, really cool because it's not just like a workshop about, oh, look at all the products we have. We're meeting CEOs, we're hearing their stories, hearing how they built their brands. We're learning about social media marketing. Like I just, I love this kind of stuff. I'm always constantly trying to learn and grow and just get better and this kind of thing is just whew, I cannot wait and I love getting it together with the entire squad it's just always so much fun it's always a great vibe so I'm really excited I'm getting ready to log into this thing right now I just restarted my computer so that she'll be nice and fresh and not you know lag or anything I'm hoping that we don't have any type of issues today because ultra gentle if I'm feeling too dry. She's whatnot. telling no lies. It's so good. All right, so time for a little quarantine update. It is day 12 and I am ready to get the hell out of here these last few days are definitely the hardest i think that i kind of went through a whole phase of like when i first got here i was excited hadn't been home for eight months even though it was quarantine it was just nice to be home to be here you know we got food and the food was nowhere near as bad as i had expected it was actually pretty good um getting some alone time with my mom like you know there was just all that excitement i had so much work to do as well so i spent majority of like the first half of quarantine 
getting work done being excited and just enjoying it being here but now i'm literally at that stage where all i have left is really editing this vlog here <laughs> that you're watching and then yeah i'm just i'm dying i'm dying to get out somebody let me out let me out so yeah it's sunday my birthday is wednesday so wednesday will be test day and hopefully fingers crossed freedom day as well as long as we test negative and hopefully they can get those results for us within the same day so that's kind of all that i'm hoping for all that's on my mind all that i'm thinking about i just i cannot wait to see bay george you guys will probably get to meet him in part two of this video in my birthday shenanigans and all of that so yeah i'm just i'm dying to get out of here my mom is also feeling the same way we're both just very much like please let us out like just feeling really antsy restless walking up and down the place looking crazy saying weird things losing track of the days like that's very much what we're dealing with right now and it's like not ugh, it's not fun but i was grateful for this past week actually you guys saw that i had four events to attend this week virtually which was really amazing because it really made this week fly by so it's just a matter of getting through these last three days today monday and tuesday and then the excitement on wednesday there is actually a tropical storm that's on its way which is also kind of annoying very very grateful that as of now it doesn't look like it's going to um, develop into a hurricane until after it's kind of past our area so that escalated quickly i got a little update for you guys it is now officially day 14 yay we are making it to the finish line we're almost there but we are officially in a new room this tropical storm has turned into a massive massive hurricane and it got a little touch and go yesterday a little bit got a little scary you know but thankfully we actually got spared here in the cayman islands it was actually supposed to come straight for us direct hit but we were only expecting a tropical storm luckily the tracking changed and it stayed really quite far south of our island instead but it really has intensified quickly i'm talking from category one as of this morning to literally within about like four hours it turned into a category four so ah oh, it's just so extremely grateful that it didn't actually come here because our island would have been a mess oh my gosh i'm just so grateful i'm so thankful thank you for all your prayers by the way i've seen you guys been messaging me on instagram and stuff because i've been updating you guys a little bit on instagram but yeah that's the update they officially actually moved us to a new room we're in a new room because as you guys saw we were on the first floor so now they moved us up to the second floor just in case we got any flooding or anything but again like i said thank god the path has changed and honestly it really hasn't been too bad today it's just been a little bit windy the sun is actually kind of starting to peek out a little bit so oh just feeling super super grateful over here my prayers are going up for mexico because it looks like it's heading straight there and also for louisiana as well but yeah that's the update the good thing about day 14 is that we're almost there it's 14 out of 15 tomorrow is test day and tomorrow is also my birthday so today's my last day as a 25 year old i will be 26 tomorrow and hopefully finally free from quarantine on um, itching to get out of here believe me i'm so ready but yeah that is the update it was a little touch and go there but we're back on track we're ready to go ready for vacation and i'm just oh i'm so excited i'll touch base with you guys tomorrow morning it's time for the testing i'm actually kind of nervous i'm not gonna lie i'm a little nervous for the test but hopefully it's not too bad all right, it's time. We're all in a line. So. Yes. <laughs> I pull the mask down. That's good. All right, ready? Fill the head up a bit. Leave like that. Finish. Thank you. You're welcome. That was not bad at all. I was definitely expecting it to be a lot worse. We're done. Thank you. Thank no you. problem.
Yay, it's over, it's behind us. <laughs> it wasn't so bad. Yeah, negative now. Negative, negative, negative. <sighs> so it is 7.39 p.m. and no results. I don't pissed. I don't even have the energy to like get up and find good lighting for you guys right now. I'm sorry. But I'm just I'm like I'm really upset. Um everybody else that I've known that's gone through the quarantine process has gotten their results the same day. So I'm just like wasn't expecting that. We're not being told any idea of when to expect results. I tested at 1 30 p.m. today and it's literally minutes to eight now p.m. So I don't understand why it takes so long, but it's just all of us, like who, the whole group of us who flew in together, we're just all dying to get out of here. And obviously because it's my birthday, it's like really disappointing and stuff. And then oh, I just want to hurry up and get my negative test and get the hell out of here. Honestly, you guys, like. I'm really frustrated. I'm trying not to have a bad attitude, but I'm really, really not happy. Hey friends. So if I look tired and I look crazy, it's because I did not sleep last night. Um, I was that upset that we didn't get let out yesterday. So now we're officially at day 16 out of 15. So here's the thing. My results came in last night and I am negative. Thank God, praise God. I'm really happy about that. But because I've quarantined with my mom, we both have to get both obviously negative results together before anyone can be released so they're not even saying like oh you're negative you can be released we have to like literally wait until my mom's test gets in negative as well which is irritating because you know like if she was positive then i would have been positive so it's just i don't know and it's crazy because we got tested at the same time she literally got tested right after me so we're just trying to figure out like how did they just like jumble all the tests together like, why is it not in order you know what i mean it's just extremely frustrating and at this point like i'm just really really upset and dying to get out of here it's upsetting i'm not gonna lie it's upsetting i don't like the way that they're handling this i think everything else was kind of like great but this the way that they're handling this after your girl has been in here for 16 days now at this point like i just i don't appreciate the way this is being handled so anyways they've confirmed that her test ended up in some other batch and it's just we are waiting for those results so i'll let you guys know when those results are in and we can finally get the hell out of here because i can't do this I don't even know if I'm gonna come home for Christmas because I was supposed to come back here for Christmas, but I can't go through this whole thing again. Like this is a lot and George and I just keep getting our hopes up like yesterday. Emily got released last night. So we're like, oh yeah, like we got tested maybe 10, 15 people behind her. So we're like, oh yeah, yeah, it should be tonight then. So we keep getting our hopes up and then they just crash and burn and die. <sighs> I literally was so upset last night. I couldn't even vlog. Like I was just, I was pissed. So anyways, I'm hopeful. And hopefully I have some good negative news. <laughs> good negative news. But yeah, hopefully I have some good news for you guys soon. Because I'm ready to have a real birthday now. tears of joy this has been so stressful but we're both negative officially now and we're free I can't wait. George is already on his way the birthday vacation can commence let's go